Hey y'all, this is Hot Tea with Libya and we got a big surprise for you today. Big surprise. So, I'm still surprised. You're still surprised? Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> calls me Leah B. So now it is hot tea with Leah B. But we actually have coffee today because it's a little cool outside. Yeah. So we're sipping on some coffee and we wanted to come and we wanted to talk to you today about what we did. What did we do? What did we do? We did something. We did something. We did a thing. Yeah, it was like a kind of a big thing. A huge thing. Just tell them. <laughs> so I know we haven't been on a long time, you know, because we went on all those cruises last year and this year the whole world is locked down. Locked down. We were actually supposed to go to Nassau this month on uh, which 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 boat? Uh celebration. We're supposed Grand to go to Nassau because celebration goes to Nassau now. Right. Um so we were gonna bring you a welcome back video going to Nassau, Bahamas, but that didn't happen. So nope. we thought we would share our story on how we bought a house in two months. Uh, we can. Uh, we don't even we know where to start, but we can sign now because we've actually been in the house for probably what a month. Yeah, a month and a, a half. Month and a half now. Um, we've been in the house, and ever since we bought the house, we soon after went to Texas, and right when we got back from Texas, we were. Quarantine. Yeah. Well, he's not. He's an essential worker. Essential. Essential. Because he's bolo. But anywho, so we wanted to come on and we have an interview with our realtor, Jennifer Booker, thank who you. is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. We also have an interview with our loan officer, officer Scotty, Scotty. Thank you. and he was so amazing. And we will drop their link below in case you are. Well, you could use Scotty anywhere, but if you were in um, the Palm Beach County, St. Lucie County area, definitely give Jenna a call. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, our team was top notch. So, yep. how did this begin? I don't know. We needed a place to stay, and we called Jennifer and told Jennifer to find us a home. And, uh, what? Our landlord came to us and told us we had to get out. Okay, well, I mean, I didn't want to put that in there. I didn't want to say put her business but it's out. So but it, it's pertinent. okay, though. But um, it, yeah. yeah, her father-in-law, um, her husband's father had stage four cancer, um, and so they needed to move their parents closer back to them so that they could help take care of him. And we were on a short-term lease because we were originally trying to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Um, but we thought we had, yeah, we thought we had a little bit of more time. Yeah, but no, we didn't. But we didn't. We so didn't. we called Jennifer and we were like, we need a miracle. Yeah, and we needed like uh, within like a month. And she laughed and she laughed hysterically. Hysterically. <laughs> I mean, I was like, uh, Jennifer, she just continues she laughing. She was like, I don't know. <laughs> and then we called, we got Scotty from our kids out in Texas. And Scotty was like, well. We're going to try to make it happen. We're going to have yep. a whole lot of prayer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I can definitely do it in two months. And I was like, we need it in a month. Um, but it did. It took about two and a half months from start to finish. Yeah. Um, it's just been an amazing roller coaster ride. But what we really truly wanted to get on here and just kind of hit key points with you guys is that if you are trying to buy a house, um, being that we're in this pandemic time and 
finances are kind of where they're at. This is the perfect time. If you got that stimulus check, let me just say, that was dropped this week. If you got that stimulus check, that would be something very good to put to the side for a down, down deposit, payment, right. down payment, down, deposit, down, down, payment, yeah, down payment to right. your house, or start working on that credit now and literally take like six months to a year to get your, if you are in a boat that we were in, because this credit was kind of like, right. my only, so, you know, we had to, I mean, but Jesus did it, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. He did. When I say our God is at a midnight hour, right. literally, literally, midnight hour, because we were literally signing paperwork, we were signing paperwork on a couple of different occasions, like five, minutes before, five 12, minutes before 12 in the morning. It was and, crazy. Yeah. Um, but we just say with a whole lot of prayer, a whole lot of preparation, um, a whole lot of trust in the good Lord Jesus, you too can be in your own home. Right. Um, it's just insane. The journey that we've taken I think I've I've had to put I had to relinquish control people I'm a control freak right no comment on that one I had to relinquish control and turn it over to our God so it has been an amazing journey amazing. that we've taken to get to this point now so what shall we tell them what was the thing that most impacted you on this whole thing if you were to impart something to them um, is trust. You have to get together a good team mm -hmm. and trust is key. If you can't trust the team that that's um, that's doing your, your 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 loans and you're trying to find your places, if you don't have that team and you can't trust that team, you're not gonna you're gonna be up all night long. Find another one. Yeah. Trust is key. We put all our trust in Scotty and Jennifer. And Jesus. Look, well, and not in that order, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> and um, it, it came through and it happened. Everything just fell right in place. Yeah, I think the biggest takeaway that I have to say is please get your credit in order before you actually start looking. God totally made a way and he totally opened the door for us to get this house. So I know that if we were able with the credit that we had, we he was in the orange and I was in the yellow. Let's put it that way. Everybody knows the little rainbow, the rainbow half circle of credit um he was in the, going into the yellow i was mid yellow and um we really had to snap that out and i think the biggest thing that we did was paying off the credit card debt that was the first thing that really boosted us i will say if you're doing the credit thing do it now and start since and do it then do the six month i mean just do it start now if you plan in six months ahead because I will tell you in a month mine went from here to up here and that was within a month because my credit guy I got to give credit to him as well he Jake. did an, uh, Jake did an awesome job on my credit also um, but start now then from here to here where mine went to you will be up here above where I was at and that's all you need and I think the thing too why I was saying start your credit beforehand is because we started his credit process so right around the time that we got to um, finalizing the loan and coming closer Towards to closing, closing. Um, we actually had a grant so that was the other reason why we wanted to jump on because we wanted to give everybody out there some hope there are grants y'all mm -hmm. that will help you with down payment assistance um, they have they but you know it's, it's better to try to get it in the very very beginning of the year but there's national grants and there's county grants and there's local grants mm -hmm. so you definitely want to that's something you want to be discussing with your loan officer and your realtor going into buying a house um, we actually had a grant mm -hmm. and then we kind of had to shift and get creative with things because the grant that we had um, it kind of fell through because then all the disputes that his credit was hitting. Which was good. The which is good. Wrong, the, the disputes was good. The good the, because they're off now. Right. They're, they're, they're gone. They're gone. But, but it was thing, just clashing. It was clashing because really, once you start hitting that loan process and getting close to closing, everything shuts down. Yeah. You can't you put can't out. Move, you can't put in. You around. can't buy a car. You can't, you can't get appliance. Nothing. You right. can't do anything with your credit card. You kind of like are on this quarantine of credit <laughs> you're if, like 
That's if you have credit like we have. Yeah. Or, or if you have excellent credit, boo do you. You know, you exactly. know what I mean? You exactly. could just go and drop whatever. Then all you need to worry about is working on your down payment assistance. But we actually ended up doing a first home buyer's uh, FHA loan, um, which we were able to, that's the other thing I want to into in part and everybody. We had an FHA loan back in the 2000, we, we got a house in 2004, we, we bought. This one decided he wanted to become a police officer midway point at the time where we were having that 2008-2009 recession. It just kind of worked that way. Yeah. And um, we ended up losing our house in that big recession. So we thought we were never going to be able to get a house again, ever. But we wanted to come out and, and give y'all a beacon of hope that if we were able to get a house, so can you. So can you. Yeah. So, um, we really wanted you to go more in depth with this and we'll probably do another video to follow up with this video. So if you guys have any questions about what process we did, um, if there's anything you want to answer us about how we went through the loop and the journey and everything, drop a comment below and we'll do a follow up video and we'll answer all those questions that you guys have. Um, but we do want to take time because I didn't want to make you sit here for an hour, although we have nothing but time during this quarantine, but I don't think you want to sit here and watch us blah, 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 blah for an hour. And drink coffee. And so. drink coffee. Well, you know, they're supposed to sit at the table and drink with us. Um, okay. Not know. tea time, coffee time. So. Coffee time. Hot coffee. Ooh. <laughs> so, anywho, we wanted to also bring in our dream team and introduce them to you of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and we are now going to introduce you to Jennifer Booker. Here with my realtor and friend, Jennifer Booker with Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway Associates. Home, home services for the realty. I'll look, say it again. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for the realty. Okay, this is my girl. So I called Jen as soon as my landlord left, and I was like, <laughs> hey, Jen, <laughs> how you doing? And she was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her what happened, and I'll let you comment from there what your thoughts and feelings were at that <laughs> When I said, I need a house. Well, I knew we could find a house. It's just the process of getting into the house, yeah. finding that right uh, house that you guys not only like, mm -hmm. but that you know the seller is going to cooperate with the time frame that you guys had, yeah. and for the mortgage to go through in that same amount of time. So well, I it told was, you the time frame. We <laughs> it, it was definitely uh, you know something we needed to get started yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Um, and but we did. We got started. We started to look at homes. And I'll let you continue on, on your thoughts on how that went. <laughs> well, no, because you called, she called me and she was like, well, I prayed and I like went into like immediate, like panic Jesus mode. I was like, Lord, I was like, your word does not come back to you void. I was like, I have prayed and prayed and prayed that I did not want to leave another rental property and go into another rental property. I and wanted it again. Yes, on it, your own. I wanted my own and I was just like, I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know how it's going to happen. And I was like, bring me the right people that I need on my house, my home dream, my home dream team, team is yes. what we called it. <laughs> so she calls me, what is it, like a couple days later? Mm -hmm. I'll let you tell that part. So, it, you know, we're looking in Port St. Lucie. I mainly work in Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, it was my friend, and I was not going to leave you, you know, stranded and not being able to find that right home. And I just figured if, she, if there was a home she needed to go see immediately and I couldn't get up here within an hour's time frame, then I wanted for you not to miss that opportunity. Yeah. So I brought up, you know, the possibility of working with other agents up here to show you homes. Um, and I was and then, fine with that. I yeah, you were that. okay with it, and then you said, then then we hung up, and you were okay with it. I then, was okay, but I said, Lord, again, yes, because I didn't know this person, and I trusted Jen. So I'm like, if she knows this person and she trusts her, then I trust her. But I was like, Lord, you already know what needs to transpire. So I need that dream team people, and if this lady is not going to be part of that dream team people, 
then it's not a it's not a go. As soon as we hung up, I got the feeling that there was no one else that could do it. Yeah, but me. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not to be, not to be. <laughs> no, it had to be you. But yes, yeah, I just felt like it had to be me, and I was I was the one that was going to be able to get it done. Yeah. So I called Leah again, and I said, "Forget it. It's going to be me. Let's set up a date, yeah. and let's go look at." A bunch of homes yeah you know let's have a nice list that we yeah. can go and take a whole day to do that and find the right one yeah I will say from the last time I bought a house to this time I bought a house it the game has changed Tremendous. yeah tremendously drastically tremendously Drastic. yeah. this is where I suggest if you guys are going to buy a home my idea it should take a year a year i was gonna say yeah. you really should start planning and talking to that financial person about a year, a year before you're gonna buy yeah because not only will it help you if you had some credit things that you needed to fix right but you might be able to buy the house right then and yeah. not wait that year you don't yeah. know you don't yeah. know what you qualify for you don't know what program you can go into and it, you might think you need to put all this money down to buy the house and you might not right so Everything was just God through the whole thing. Praying hands, praising hands, <laughs> praying hands, praising hands. Yeah. And it was just a, a lot of God. And it was showing God. up. It's showing up mm -hmm. and showing out. And we were praying. We did the walkthrough here. Yeah. And we clamped hands and we prayed. And it was just an amazing process, all in all. And she's amazing. Like, it's not like she's. Just, you know, sending you, what are they, comp papers? What is that? I don't I still, I'm still green. <laughs> um, on what? Like, she, in the beginning, like, oh, from the very, like, like some, if you find a house, yeah. and you send, like, the comps? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Like, the, the guy that I had prior to you when we were renting, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't a very good relationship. It's like, um, you really have to click with your person because. Yeah. You have to. Well, it's very. It's a very personal. It's a very thing intimate that you're transaction. Doing. Right. It is. And it's. I mean, it's the most expensive thing that most people buy. Yeah. So you definitely want to have somebody that you trust, that yeah. you can get along with, that you can talk to, that, that you can laugh and cry with. Because I did yes. that. <laughs> we do do that. I laughed and I cried. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a. It's a big. You know, commitment for both. Yeah, parties, because you want to be able to be open and share what's going on um, so that we can help you, Absolutely. you know, get to the goal. Just to your goal. And you did. And yeah. I'm so happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. She's the best, y'all. Jennifer Booker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services for the real. It's hard for me to say I know. that. It is a, it's, it's a mouthful. It's so hard. Yeah. Shire. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jen. We love you so much. You rock. You are amazing. Totally amazing. Totally amazing. And it makes such a difference when you get somebody that's like family and they treat you like family. Like, really, when we walked into houses, she was just like, Nope, that house is not for that you. That house is not for you. I already know. I already no, know. No, I no. know. All she had to do was look at me and I look at her and she was like, no. Well, thank you for showing your house. <laughs> and we were out the door. She was totally amazing. Totally amazing, but we also do not want to leave out Mr. Scotty. Scotty. All the way to Texas. We went all the way to Texas. Texas. To give Scotty the biggest thank you ever. Well, this guy went to see him because, you know, the whole coronavirus thing was starting. So I kind of stayed behind with my granddaughter. But he and my son went out to see Scotty. I so had to personally, yes. I see, I met Scotty before. He had met Scotty, but... You know, they got the cigar thing between them. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Watch for him. He might be studying that later. Just a little, just a little nugget, a little Easter egg. But let's go to Texas. Do you Here want to come, Scotty. You want to, you want to In this corner, we have the notorious, the grateful, the most hardest working man in loans ever. Scotty Campbell! <laughs> okay. All right, so this is Scotty Campbell here. I got my man, Willie Bathia, and that's his, that's his boy Mike back there. Mike's trying to hide. Trying and, to. and listen, we're just here to talk about how good God is. You know, in my business, I do mortgage loans for a living. I'm a lender. 
and uh, honestly, that's a lot of a lot of that's my ministry too, William. Uh, okay. You know, so, right. so you know, we get to talk to and connect with a lot of people. Right. And Mike back here. Uh, we helped him and his family buy a home about a year and a half ago. Yep. And then he connected me with his, his dad and his mom. And uh, we just helped them purchase a home in, uh, what, not Port St. Lucie. Yes. Port, Port St. Lucie, Lucie, Florida. Yes. Port the New Lucie. Palm Beach. Yes, the New Palm Beach. The New Palm Beach. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you right now, it was a, it was a complete and total miracle. Um, you know, there were some crazy things we fought through. Yes, it was. And I want to tell you right now, <laughs> Willie and Leah, uh, they they stood the course, you know what I mean? And they stood on the word of God and they stood on their prayers. And, Absolutely. And, and honestly, they listened to what we told them to do. Yes. And that's a big thing. You know, it, it, it's uh, it's quite a process yes, buying a home. And we try to make it as simple as possible. But I'm going to tell you right now, God is so good. All the time. And uh, we're so thankful to have the opportunity to get these guys into a house um, so I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. I, I guess that's about it. Then it was a miracle, and it was an awesome miracle. Yes, and it was nothing but God. Nothing but God. What and, you got? and and you guys. Well, we worked hard, but you know, a <laughs> little hard, hard work. And, I, I didn't and, and Jesus, what'd you do, Mike? Yes. I helped them move in that house. Mike showed up and helped them move in, and uh, kept the spirits up during that weekend. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's right. So yeah, there was a, there was some, some challenges, but yes, I'm gonna tell you right now, we got through we it. Got through it. And God is good. And uh, so listen, if you're believing for home, if you're believing for a breakthrough in your finances, trust the Lord. But also listen to professionals. You know, I'm, I'm no different than you. Willie's a police officer. He knows how to keep us safe. I would listen to Willie, uh, you know, in his profession. Right. And that's the same thing. You got a realtor. You got a loan, a loan officer. You got partners you can listen to and get where you're trying to go. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, trust God. Listen to the professionals. You get what you're looking for. Always. All right. Take care. What? Thank you, Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. I don't know. Like our team was the dream team of realty and God really ordained and orchestrated these two plus Jake to be there to just put it in this big mixing pot and be like poof y'all got a house right. like it really was nothing but, nothing but God. nothing but a God thing and we are so grateful and we were so thankful and we just really wanted to get on and announce to all our friends and family that may not have known now that it's official. We have, we have a house. A house. And we're sitting on our porch. This is our back door. <laughs> this is our house. Um, oh, tell them about the amazing numbers. One last thing before we go. So we actually close on 220 2020. That is called a word that I cannot think of now because I have senioritis <laughs> at 47 years old. So I will <laughs> now I'll put the word right here over him. <laughs> this is what it's called and it happens very, very, very rarely. And so I basically essentially what it is is that whatever it is forward, it is backward. And our loan was $220,000. So we have some more twos and zeros going on in there. Yep. And the only thing that we had to put down was $2,000. So you so, do the math. You do the math. There's a lot of twos, a lot of zeros. Yeah. Again, we can talk about that in a follow-up video because I don't want to take too much of your time today. But we just want to thank you so much for joining us. This is going to be the new the new table that we invite you, our family, to come sit at and talk to us. Do you guys like him? Yeah. Do you want me to bring him no. on some more? No, 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 no. I know our Facebook loves him. As soon as I bring him on, they're like, Rrr. so you too. Do you guys like him? I'll bring him on some more. Yeah. Come join us next time for the next episode of Hot Tea with Leah B, where we will be talking about venture meetings. So that's it for today. Thanks, guys, for coming. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Love you.